Hey everyone, I'm back. I said I would be, and I did. I grabbed a little bite to eat, just set it over there. My nephew did me a big favor of uh, washing some brushes for me, and we're live again. So earlier we did that wonderful bead gel ornament. Again, our Artsyville bead gel and all the other products that we use are available at paintedstudio.com. Sorry, my clothes are all twisted around me. I probably should be smart and have an apron on, but I wasn't that smart earlier, so why should I start being that smart now? Hey, Celia, nice to see you here. All right, so um, one of the things that I got asked a lot, very early on even, uh, when, we, the, when the COVID pandemic hit and everybody started wearing masks is, can you foil a mask? Well, the short answer is yes, but really the longer answer is a mat it's a matter of um, figuring out the right type of mask to foil. Now you all have seen my, let me reach it back here, the pleated mask that I did and I did it with the scribble writer because I didn't have to iron on it. These pleated masks are really challenged to do foiling on unless you draw on it like I didn't. I didn't do a very good job on this one, I was just playing with it. So the better shaped ones are these that fit on your face like this. Now. I bought these at Michael's. They come pre-elastic and everything. You can shorten them or lengthen them. And they have them in adult and in children's sizes, but the only adult sizes they had were in denim like this. So we're gonna move forward with the plan to foil a mask. All right, so these masks are much easier to use because they're flatter and then we can iron on them the next thing is then you got to find patterns to work on them so obviously i got out my cricut maker and i did a bunch of little shapes that can be used on masks so we're going to do a couple different ideas and i cut out a bunch of little flowers and as you can see i weeded the centers out like i always tell you all to do because this is sticky and when you're dealing with sticky you don't want um to have the outer edges because you're going to stick it to yourself like i just did only more of it will get sticky and then what happens is you want this outside edge to be adhesive because it helps bond it to the fabric so you can foil it and if you so I got to pull this out. I always weed my outer edges very last. Um, you need this to stay sticky. And what happens is you can stick it to your skin enough times that it stops being adhesive or a good adhesive. And it'll, all your skin flakes will be on there and, you know, just ugly stuff happens. You know, keep it, keep the outer edges weeded to the very end. Unweeded until the very end. This just makes it so much better. All right, so obviously I created this pattern. I cut it out on my Cricut Maker. All I did was did a little Google on um, what flower patterns I had on there. I just did the search engine, pulled up some flowers, and sized them so that they would fit on my mask. So I could do it this way, but personally I think that little flower if I have it at the nose it looks like somebody sneezed it so really I want to do it that way now I've got it placed on here and I can iron it flat or I can iron it folded over like I had it before but I think I really I need to shift this just a little because I flower was coming off the edge I, I will be better off if I do it just with one layer and I have now set my iron to silk um, the plastic will take the heat up to denim, or sorry, up to um, linen with no problem, but I always start with silk first because um, my iron is too cool on synthetic and it's too hot once it goes above wool. But silk usually does all right, although I can use um, wool on this and I do often, especially with something like the denim because the texture of the fabric needs a little extra heat to get it to bond into it so I'm just kind of holding it down for a second hey Lisa it's so good to see everybody back I appreciate you all coming back with me on your Friday evening all right so I have now applied this 
onto the surface and you want to remove the carrier film, meaning this clear film, while it's still hot. If you don't, it will pull back. See how that's, see how that's pulling back right there? That's what you don't want to have happen. So I will go back in with my iron, heat it up a little more, because the warmer it is, the better it transfers. So I'm just making sure it's good and hot and fused to the surface. Now you can see it's turned clear, but if you look closely, there's some spots that are actually dark. That's really the best way for it to be, because once it's turned darker or gone completely clear, it will release the best. And I just like to make sure I've got this good and hot. And this is an awkward shape to iron because you can see it's got a curve to it. So this might take you a little longer than you might normally expect to release the adhesive. And here we go. And it's coming off nicely. Excellent. I got a little pullback. Again, I'm dealing with a weird surface and it's a little hard to keep it completely flat. So you can see I've got a little pullback there. But if you all know me like you do, I always create patterns so that the next step will hide where I goofed the first step. Now, um, since we're working in flowers, let's see, I had some flower for it. I thought we'd use the Abigail flowers and then we'll use something a little different for the next step. Now, I actually cut this up and did, doubled up all my designs so that I could um, do exactly the same on both sides of the mask. So I'm gonna lay my foil down and I am going to take a little piece of parchment paper. Obviously I shredded a large one, but I just wanna make sure that when I put this down, I don't have any issues um, by overheating the foil. And you want it a little bit of pressure and it's gonna take about 15, 20 seconds. And so first I do this with the paper on here and then I go back in and check to make sure it's bonded over the whole surface where I need it to. Now you all know I hate ironing. So I must love you a lot to be willing to do ironing online on a Friday. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside because that has to then cool off for a moment. While that cools, these I, I created these other little flowers on my uh, Cricut. Sorry, carry your film grabbing onto foil. Always happens because I don't pay attention. All right, so I'm gonna cut these, uh, finish weeding out this little flower and a couple others, and we'll use it on the mask. Again, this is our heat transfer vinyl adhesive. It comes in three foot rolls. Uh, you put it through your cutter mat side up, meaning if you look at these, this has a flat, unshiny side and a glossy side. The glossy side goes down in your cutter. It gets mounted to the cutting mat. The dull side is up, you use vinyl adhesive on the settings if you have that on your cutter and all it does is it cuts right through this thin film of adhesive and leaves the back carrier still there so i've got a couple of these to pull out um, and so it'll take about as long to pull these out as the mask needs to completely cool enough to pull the uh, foil back. And, you know, I make oopses with all of this all the time. I just work to create designs that are very forgiving of my messiness because I need a lot of forgiveness for that. I'm not sure my family forgives me. I'm not sure my friends forgive me, but my designs do. Could I be a little more dramatic today? Seriously. I am all drama all day today. 
my nephew's across the way nodding. I'm not sure if he's nodding about what I said or if it's because of something that he was watching on his laptop, but I know he laughs at me regularly too, so. And I just like to con include him in the conversation. It makes him feel better. <laughs> oh my God, if you could see the face he was making, that was hysterical. He looked like a Gila monster. Must be watching like Godzilla movies or something. Okay, so I've now done three of these little flowers. Uh, wow, it's so nice to see you all. Hey, Martin, nice to see you. Oh gosh, and Maddie's here, and there's so many of you online with me today. I appreciate it. All right, so this is cooled enough for me to peel it back. Let's see how it released. Pretty darn well. Okay. So first of all, look how cute that is on your mask. This is the area that I had the most breakage in. So I would take maybe one of my little flowers here, because I'm kind of making it look like a little like a garden and I'll cut these to fit. Martin, I found a Sphinx cat mandala that I can cut and make into a t-shirt for you that I can then have, say, Cleocatra on it. I think that would be so cute. You might never wear it, though. Especially if I did it in pink foils. I don't think I'd be very popular for that. <laughs> um, I've known Martin a long time. We're very good friends, and I torment him all the time. He loves it. At least that's what I tell myself. Okay, so I put a few more little flowers down here. I'm going to come back in with my iron and I am now set fully on wool because I've already released one foil over here and I need to make sure I can get everything completely released. This heat transfer vinyl adhesive is so cool. It works so well for this. And I, I, I mean, I'm, using, I'm probably using my Cricut cutter more than I would have ever thought I would because of this vinyl. Oops, I'm sorry, I got it in the way. So let me peel that back, see if I can get it released. Yes, it came off perfectly. There you go. Took a little bit of the foil with it, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to uh, put another foil over it. Oops, let's accidentally hit the steam and <laughs> dribbled a little water on there and that's not gonna help anything. I don't need that. Um, by the way, you should all be very excited because this is the most ironing you're ever going to see me do. I don't like ironing. All right, let me come back in here. I say a little, little pouch, the little pocket of stuff that didn't transfer well. And if you notice, I'm being very careful not to iron over where I had the other adhesive because that's not going to help me if I re-iron that. And if I accidentally hit it, I will find out in a minute and it will show. I will know very, very quickly. Okay, so I need something else that's much different looking than that. So what do you think? Should we do some Nova Glitter? Should we do some, I think the Bailey's flower is too patterny over that. It wouldn't show well. But we could also go with the stripes. That'll, I think that's really where I want to go. I think one of these two. I like this one, I think, with that. I think the other might be a little too patterned. I know that's hard to believe considering what I'm doing here, but it might actually be too patterned. I just need it to be contrasting enough for you to actually be able to see it. All right, let's do this. Where is my little piece of parchment paper? Here we go. Now, I could very easily and probably will get some transfer from the second foil over the first foil. It just happens. Whatever little pocket of adhesive I didn't catch with um, the uh, 
Abigail flowers. I will catch it now the second time with our rainbow stripes. You haven't seen this one before? Gigi, this is a new one. We just brought it in a few weeks ago. Um, so this is our rainbow stripes. Okay. And my iron got a little something on it from being in here in the studio, so now it's being goopy. I'm going to set this to the side. We're going to cool that off. So I have several of these. Now, I wanted to also try to figure out how to do an all-over pattern. And that's really hard on these shapes unless you are cutting something out specifically to fit that shape. So what I did is I took this damask pattern that I found, and I'm going to cut it right in half. Now this may or may not work well, I'm not sure. I haven't tried this one yet. So I'm going to try to. <laughs> of course, this is not a straight seam, so I've actually made my own life a little more challenging doing this. And oh yeah, this is the outside edge that I forgot to peel off. I'm trying this for the first time, so this may or may not work. I did not go into my Cricut Cutter. Cricut Cutter actually has shapes that you can fit your designs to, uh, and I didn't look up to see if they had masks. So we, I, I did this on a straight seam. This may or may not go well. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna match this as closely as I can to my design here. fully expecting that I am going to have some challenges. And I'm, I, I am now also being cat TV for Cleocatra, which is kind of cool. I never thought I could do that, but I'm going for it. Cat TV, here we go. Catra, I'm playing with foils and annoying your daddy. Have I annoyed Martin yet? I'm sure he'll, uh, it, when you see the whatever get posted, you'll know I've annoyed him. All right, so I've got that pattern on there and now I'm pressing to fuse it. These masks run about $5 at Joanne. Um, yes, they're made in China, but they are 100% cotton, machine washable. Um, like anything that we tell you to do with foils, the foils, while the fabric can go in the dryer, the foils cannot. It reactivates the adhesive and does bad things. So hand wash, line dry, no dryer, no iron. So I've got this sitting on here. I just want to warm it up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to flip up in a second as soon as I lay this foil down and press it with the iron to look back. I haven't answered questions really because I've been trying not to set myself on fire with this. While that sits there, I need a sip. Ah. Okay, so I have really warmed that well. This should peel really easily and it did. Perfect. I have one little pull, but it was already over the edge where I knew I wasn't going to hit it. Uh, what if you ironed it first? Would it help it? <laughs> Desiree, what would really have helped is if I, I, if I had had this on the fabric before they made the mask out of it. But this is what we do. We work these things out. So I'm not even that concerned. All right, I'm going to use some of our galaxy glitter. Is this galaxy glitter? Yep, galaxy glitter. And we're going to lay it right here. These four, understand, the reason that I have the hardest problem with this is not the fabric. It's that it is curved. You see this? If you look at it from the side, it's curved. So when you lay it down flat, it will bow. And fitting the pattern in is a challenge. Now, I washed these already, 
because really you want to wash everything before you put foil adhesive on it because there's always sizing in this stuff and the sizing can affect the way that the uh, adhesive bonds to the surface. And, um, I've heard stories of it, you know, basically the foil washing off in the first wash because the size didn't allow the adhesive to bond to the surface. Uh, and if you don't know what sizing is, it's the stuff that they put on fabric when they're manufacturing clothes to make it stiffer so the fabric's easier to sew and to work with and then to fold and to package and hang up and all that stuff. That's why when you get st clothes, like clothing home from the store, it's really nice and crisp. And then you wash it and it seems sort of wilted, like especially with t-shirts. It's because you've washed the sizing out. All right, so that's gonna sit and cool for a minute. And we're gonna bring this back and see how our little flowers worked. Okay, now I had some bad release here and I had some bad release here. Probably because I didn't have the iron laid down on it, so I take a fresh piece of foil that has not been touched by the iron. I lay the foil down, because the adhesive will heat up again but this is also why you don't want to wash it and iron it and wash it and iron it and wash it and iron it a dozen times because you're reheating the adhesive by putting it in the dryer. You'll reheat the adhesive by putting it under the iron. And eventually, like all adhesives, you, would, you heat them too many times, they become very brittle. And they flake and they chip and they peel or, you know, in thicker things, they snap off. So those are cooling for just a moment. And the other thing I wanted to sh share with you is uh, doing pillowcases. Now, I don't mean the pillowcases like you sleep on, which you could do, but I don't recommend it because this is not, I don't like the idea of sleeping with the, the adhesive near my face. I'm talking throw pillows. I'm setting a few things aside. Get my carrier films out of the way. I bought these on Amazon for like $10 for a set of four. They're 15 inches, they're cotton, and they're great for this. Now, obviously, they were washed. So I'm gonna take a quick iron over this with a hotter iron just to get some of the wrinkles out because it'll help me lay my other pattern down better if it's not all wrinkly. And if I get shiny spots, it's probably, it's coming through from the surface here. They go away. That doesn't affect the fabric forever. So I've done a quick ironing and put my temperature back down on my iron. I'm gonna flip this up while everything cools for a second and go back and reach for some of your questions. All right, I'm gonna come back because I, you guys have been so awesome being here with me. Oh gosh, we've had so many. Hey Karen and uh, Toma, Martin is waiting for a hurricane. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Maddie, hi, oh my gosh. Katra is watching. Okay, keep that baby safe. Don't let her go play in the hurricane. Uh, Anita, nice to see you. Oh, Jenny, you got it, I told you. I promised you, I don't play when I give, do giveaways. I do them real. Might take me a day, an extra day to get them set out, but they're real. <laughs> that stripe is our Ginny, that, uh, Gigi, that stripe is called Rainbow Stripe in Pink. Isn't it gorgeous? So good. And let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> Anita, thank you. I'm trying to stay relevant. It's really hard because things change so quickly. So I'm trying to adapt what we do here to current market. And I know everybody's making masks galore, so might as well make them fabulous. If you make the pleated mask, and I'm saying this for people who actually go and sew the masks, foil the fabric first. You will never, I tried it. Folks, you cannot unpleat those pleated masks enough to do a good foil release. So do the fabric before you sew the mask. If you have masks like this, like I got, then foil those masks. 
Oh, hey, Desiree, nice to see you. Yes, you can do that. What The biggest question people had was breathability with the masks. The point is you don't completely cover the surface with the adhesive and with the foil because that will then affect the way the fabric breathes. Create a pattern, put it over the fabric, make it fabulous, do it three-dimensional like I did here. Take that, our Scribble Deco Writer for foil, liquid foil adhesive. You can make it dimensional. I go into places and people are like, that is the coolest mask. And I'm looking at it going, yeah, I made so many mistakes on it, but they don't see it. They just see a cool, shiny mask. All right, let me flip it up here. Uh, Barbara, nice to see you. Carol, hey, Lori, nice to see you. All right, so we're back down here. Now this one's gonna take a little bigger pattern because I had a little bit of fun. Um, these are already all pre-weeded. Um, I'm thinking it's time for a little nautical seashell kind of theme. Let me see if I can pull this up and angle down better so that you're not quite so on top of this. I cut these the other day. They have been completely weeded. And let me tell you, when you get into details like this, take your time. Now, I love weeding stuff like this, but not everybody else does. And what I mean by weeding is you're pulling out all the glue that you don't want. It's sort of like you're weeding your garden, you're pulling the weeds out. Well, when you weed a design uh, like this, you're pulling out all the unwanted adhesive to expose your pattern. <clears throat> Now, I know many of you also follow Jennifer Ferguson, and she'll tell you, what, I'm, I'm like addicted to this stuff. I have done four pairs of jeans, three pairs of shorts, uh, a couple, t three t-shirts. I'm about to do three more. I did t-shirts for my neighbor's business. He loves them. He's asked, hired me to make more of them for his shirts, for his employees. So, I mean, truly, I am like so into this situ this stuff. All right, so I've got my heat mask, heat transfer vinyl adhesive applied to the surface. This stuff, this is all just extra vinyl adhesive and it all goes throws away. Now, if you're like me, it hurts you to throw stuff away. Um, I keep going, going, please let me find something that uh, I could use that with, and I never do. All right, this is blue pillowcase. We're gonna put this conch shell on it. And we're just gonna press until it all goes clear. My um, heat setting is now at wool. This is cotton, so it can take the heat. If you're working on a synthetic fabric, you're gonna have to lower the heat on your iron and be more patient. You're just gonna have to hold it down longer and it'll take a little longer to turn clear. Yes, Ginny won our contest. Ginny won uh, 10 ounces of texture medium, 10 ounces of metallic paste, and she won an orange uh, impressions roller. So she, she, that was a good contest. She was the share queen for our last contest. I never did go back and completely count how many times you shared, but I would have been shocked if Ginny hadn't won. She shared more than anybody else. All right, so I've got this nice and heated up. And what I'm going to do, because the bigger shapes are a little harder to transfer, so I like to warm up the top part that I'm going to start peeling. And then I kind of park the iron on the lower half so that it still stays nice and warm. Uh... You know what? I think for you, Lori, you might have to go onto Artistic Painting Studio's website because she actually has some Canadian vendors. So you might be able to purchase that and not have to deal with the high shipping costs. Uh, Artistic Painting Studio is artisticpaintingstudio.com. Go under her adhesive, uh, go under find a, a vendor and she should have it uh, there for you to find. Okay, let's peel this back. 
Now I don't need uh, an adhesive board under this because I know somebody asked, was asking about that earlier because this is a hard fabric, as in it doesn't stretch when I use it or when I apply this, so that's a big deal. If you're using a t-shirt, you need to place it on what we call a sticky board, which is just a piece of cardboard where we've lightly sprayed um, spray glue on it and then let it sit and dry for a while. And the reason we do that um, is so that the t-shirt doesn't move when we pull that off because then that ruins the adhesive and your pattern doesn't stay well. We're gonna apply the uh, foil that is our gorgeous marble shatter. I love this foil, it's so cute. And I don't use it that much because I tend to pick really bright colors. And this is a little more neutral than I normally choose. So I'm, first I'm gonna iron the whole thing with my little piece of parchment paper. And obviously the parchment paper's moving, not the surface underneath. <laughs> going to push and hold and hold and hold. Hey Leslie, nice to see you here. All right, let me make sure, and I'm going to run a quick one here with just the iron to make sure it's completely adhered. And frankly, I find that unless I'm doing a stencil, that I like the heat transfer vinyl adhesive best for designs. Um, I, I think it works better than the spray adhesive, but the spray adhesive is awesome. It has, it's, it suits its purposes. Like I can't use a stencil with this stuff. All right, here we go. There we go, look how fun that is. And then I'm gonna take the same design and I'll do it over here. And then maybe I'll just put a little something here and here. So let's let's grab that. Oh, gosh, I'm so smart. I threw all the extra adhesive on top of the exposed carrier. Yay, you all should be as smart as I am. This is why Jennifer says I'm pig pen. And I, and I am, I, I, I make messes. Even Martin says like, his staff needs a week to recover after I've been in his studio <laughs> and stuff. It's because I always, I have so many ideas going all the time that I end up throwing stuff everywhere and then hoping that I remember the idea by the time I get to the point of being finished. Because there's the other rub, is that I tend to forget halfway through <laughs> what I was doing and you know, like try to remember, hopefully, for the next one. If I'm, if I'm having a good day, I actually write stuff down. If I'm having a bad day, I'm winging it and hoping that uh, I remember. There is a little piece of adhesive in here that did not get pulled, weeded out. There we go. So we'll put this on this side. Let's see if I can get it as close to evenly lined up as possible. I'm not expecting perfection. It's overrated anyway. All right, so let's iron this down. And this this shape is tough. Tough. Um, I think if you had, even if you used one of the first this awkward a shape, like even maybe one of those little mini travel irons, if you have them, might be super easy to work with. Oh, Stephanie, thank you. All right, so I think I've got most of this on. Um, I appreciate when people enjoy watching my videos. I, I try to make the mistakes here on lives because then if I make the mistakes, I can have corrected them and help you to have a more successful result. And that's not coming off of there as well as I'd like. It's leaving too much behind. So I'm just gonna hold this here for a second and let it really melt on here. All right, that should be better. 
and there we go comes off I still have some broken spots and again between the texture of the material and the awkwardness of the shape it can happen it doesn't bother me I accept it for what it is work with that and move on okay now this is our this is still so nice and warm that when I play it down the adhesive already starts to stick Okay, let's see, I'm lifting up my mask. It all, that's when it's nice and warm. It works really well. I should put my little bit of... I'm trying to do it right each step. It doesn't mean I will do it right. Okay. Now, if you've ever seen a shape in my lives that is not available on our website in one of our pre-cut shapes, or if there's a shape in specific you're looking for and you don't see it, just message me. I will do my darndest to, uh, oops, that was so ready to come off it fell. Okay, so you're, here you can see where I had some bad release and here you can see where I had great. That's the difference. I'm okay with this because I might just apply some gems there and hide that messiness. Look how cute this is already though. I really am liking how that's coming out. So we're gonna find, where's my other piece here? So we'll do this one. You guys are just gonna keep me company while I do some masks in a pillowcase. So I'm lifting out the extraneous adhesive off the carrier film, just the same as always. Uh, peel, peel, peel. There we go. And truly, I, I really do enjoy this kind of stuff. It makes me so happy to do this thing, these things. I love little projects like this. I get such a kick out of doing them. Okay, so there's that. There's my paper. And we're going to start heating this up. And I will go back and check my reset on my, uh, my uh, iron from time to time because I know with my hand in here, I can actually turn off the heat. So, yeah, you mean go back and check what you're doing from time to time. Okay, I got that on there. It wasn't sliding around, so now I'm just gonna kind of press on it for a minute until we're good and truly cleared on here. And then as soon as I do this one, I'm gonna take a second's break. We're gonna discuss the new foil that I'm carrying that everybody's been getting little secret snippets of in their packages this week. really, really, really want to get this good and melted because denim being a coarse fabric is a hard one, can be a hard one to get the bond to really grab to. So take your time to make sure that you see that this whole thing has turned good and clear and that you can peel it back without leaving any of the design still on the carrier film. If you're using a hot press t-shirt press kind of thing, Set your press for 325. You can press the carrier film with the foil onto the fabric for about three to five seconds. That should be enough. And then you press the film, uh, the foil down over it at the same temperature for, I'm trying to remember what it was, 15 seconds, I think. That was what I was told. I, I'm just reaching back in my very befuddled memory. Okay, so we're gonna put, go back. <laughs> I'm pulling foil. The carrier for this can pull foil off the foil. It, you know, if you set it in the wrong place, I kind of pulled a lot off the back. Thank goodness it wasn't the part I needed to use. You know, I can set this next to scotch tape and it'll peel the foil off of that too. So you can peel foil off the back of its carrier film with just scotch tape or masking tape or all kinds. That's how you test the release to make sure it's a good release because if it will release on tape, it will release on an adhesive. 
Um, so what I was saying is the t-shirt press, 325, two to, uh, I think it says three to five seconds for uh, the adhesive and then about 12 seconds for the foil. Now that's my memory. I don't own a t-shirt press. That's what I remember writing down to put in the instructions so that when we send our rolls of, foil, of uh, vinyl adhesive to our customers, they have full direction. So we're gonna let that cool. And what are we gonna pull back? We're gonna pull back our shell. Let's hope the shell transferred. I think it should. <gasps> Look how good that is. Oh my God, look how awesome that is. I mean, think of that just like a throw pillow on a bed. And now these are very lightweight throw covers. You can put them on anything that you can iron onto, but look how cute that stencil is on that pillow. That's awesome. All right, I have one more. So we're gonna iron that on another blue pillowcase. I also have um, white pillowcases, but I have other plans for those and I'm gonna put lotus flowers on the white cases. So there is, I gotta find one spot to throw my trash and one spot to throw the good stuff because I am getting too much messiness all around me. I think I'm just gonna use this carrier film to pick up all of the loose vinyl adhesive that I've had all around me today. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick iron so that um, I can lay the transfer on here. Now, I could do it in the center, I could do it in the corners. I tend to like things a little off center, so I tend to put things in corners. You can put it right here. I, the one thing you will have to deal with, right, and something like this, is that on the back, there's obviously a seam. This is seamed to put your pillow in the back instead of being zipper seamed up at the top like most are, this is seam in the middle. So that will also help me determine placement because I don't really want things with, I don't want to fight the seam and have it ring, you know, buckle on me and do bad things. All right, now I got to find the other stencil that I just threw somewhere because I'm throwing everything everywhere at the end of the day. Here it is. Okay, and I think I'm going to take this one and I'll just do it on this corner. We'll sort of bookend these. Maybe I'll use these on my couch in my living room because we have dogs that like to sleep on all our decorative pillows. And you know, if they're gonna sleep on a decorative pillow, it should be one that I make. How do you wash these? Um, the, uh, you wash these in cold water and line dry. You do not put them in the dryer. You do not iron them. The ironing and the drying reheats the adhesive and when you start reheating and reheating and reheating the adhesive not only can it start to flake off but it becomes brittle and the design starts to break apart so I'm putting this on here until it is nice and clear um, Desiree would the gel work the same or the spray <coughs> basically yes you can't, obviously, I'm putting this stuff through my cutter, but yes, it works basically the same way. You need to uh, press down and apply heat longer with the spray adhesive and the liquid adhesives than you do with this. Um, and then you have to make sure to put quite a bit of pressure on it when you're ironing, but they all work really, really well. And I did not, Oh my God. Okay, you want it, this is what dumb people do. Thank God I had a lot of these. I spent hours and hours and hours weeding this last night. This, here, here's the goof. I forgot to pull out off the outside layer. I just fused the entire thing to the, and you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release the vinyl, the foil on it just so you can see exactly how dumb I was. Just like it, you have to, if you're gonna do lettering, you have to remember to mirror them. You actually have to remember to weed all this extra stuff off that I wasn't smart enough to do because look at what I've done. I have not only released the 
design, but I've released all the background adhesive. Fortunately, like I said, these pillowcases were inexpensive. They came in sets of four and I only needed two. So I'll end up cutting another one of these and redoing it. But I'm going to show you how dumb this was so that you can really clearly see it because you're not going to see it from just what I did, what I'm showing you when I turned it clear. I hope somebody else saw that and was yelling to yourself, peel the out background, peel the background. Because I wasn't smart enough to see that. All right, so we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna let that cool off. And I'm gonna show you how stupid I was in a few minutes. Okay, so we're gonna peel off this mask. Oh yes, I mean, this is just, okay, first of all, how cute is that mask, just as it is. And I can take this flower and put one over here. I can put one over here. I still have more left for my other mask. I mean, this is just gonna be so cute. I just like to fill in my designs completely. I don't tend to leave things with blank spaces on either side, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a flower here. And since I was already smart enough and weeded that one, It's not quite warmed up enough on there. I have to push a little harder. On denim, you might have to put in a little elbow grease just to get the pressure hard enough on your fabric. Because if you don't get enough pressure, you don't get enough. And that still does not want to release there. I mean, just must not be pressing hard enough. I'll put my chin on the iron sometimes. I'm just gonna hold it here for a few seconds. It'll come off, it always does. There we go, that should be just right. And there we go, it came off just perfect. And let's see. I think I got a little, little pink camo. Yeah, and I know I'm using very random patterns. I just want something that's got enough contrast so that when I release it, you guys will see it. Okay, that side's done. I'm gonna take another one. See, look, I can actually remember once in a while. It would help if I turned it over though. So I was weeding the correct side. Stick it on that. Let's see, a little bit here. My nephew got worried that I wasn't still live because I was being quiet. It's fine. All right, we're gonna get the last of this on and I'm gonna press a little bit. And occasionally I hit the steam, it doesn't hurt it, it just doesn't help it. peel off nicely and there it goes well we left a little behind I see um, with something this small I can actually come back and match my pattern but I don't recommend doing this most of the time seriously it's more work than it's worth and we're gonna and I will probably have done bad things to that design over there by pull it, putting it down, pulling it back, and then not re-releasing it. But again, like I said, I do the mistakes here 
and oftentimes I'm doing it intentionally so that you all can see what can happen. Okay. La 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 la. Smooth the iron over that. And we're gonna set that one aside. And we'll come back over here. And this is just so cool the way this releases. Again, look how cute this is. I mean, I, this is a mask I can't wait to wear already. I really like it. Then I take my last two flowers. going to pull out the extra. I have to be, my, my, I'm doing this over um, a polystyrene board. My polystyrene board's now officially starting to warp because I have heated it up so many times. This is not your typical ironing surface, but when you're doing these foils, they like a firm surface as opposed to an ironing board because then you can press harder on it and um, get more consistent pressure. So, you know, your, your regular ironing board may or may not work. You might find that just a piece of regular old cardboard underneath is a better option. All right, so I'm gonna put that one there. Come on. Of course, the heat adhesive doesn't want to peel because I'm on a camera and you all are watching me. And now I'm starting to feel the pressure. Oh my God. All right, almost there. I'd say the pillows would be an absolute success if I hadn't screwed up the way I applied it and there was nobody to blame for that but me. I'm the one who messed it up. Nobody else. I want to cut that down a little bit. Stick that over there. Put this design here. And I'm still set on wool. And I'm going to press down a little bit. Try not to hit the steam. I did these two separately last time because I wasn't sure how I was positioning them. Now that I know what my positioning is, I'm doing them both at the same time. Why? Because it's going to save me some effort. And what I'm doing here is I'm pushing the tip into all the edges, the tip of my iron into all the edges to get as good a release as humanly possible on here. Now, somebody's going to say, well, you said we can't iron it, but you're already ironing over it on here. First of all, this is my only exposure to heat on this surface with this. But also, I'm already, you know, messing with this by putting heat over it a second time, so I don't want to do it a third time or any more times after that. Okay, we're gonna peel off, and then we're gonna release a little foil. Where is that other piece of this? I knew I had enough, I had some more of it around here. So there it is. I knew I had another piece. And do not ever use foil that you've already released some design from because the heat will have affected the foil and it will not release correctly. You have to go back in with fresh foil. So what I'm doing here is cutting out the pieces of foil that I did not uh, use any heat on the last time on the other side. So I wanna make sure to cover as much of my design as I can. Go. Put my parchment paper down. That's going to make my life a little easier. All 
and also helps me to protect this area a little bit. So you may not be able to see this on camera, but I can see the foil grabbing to the adhesive, which is a great way to tell that your transfer is working. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna flip the camera up. I'm gonna go over your questions and I'm gonna let in on a little deal with uh, some of the, uh, did you hear sizzle? Yes, I. you heard sizzle because I hit steam by mistake. All right. Yes, do you hear a little sizzle? I did this by accident. Actually hit the steam on my thing and I didn't mean to. All right, so I'm gonna pull the foils off in a second, but I wanted to remind everybody that we have a new mystery foil in called Melody. Now, come in here a little closer because this is a secret. Melody is, not be Melody is not being released to the public until um, next Monday, August 3rd. However, if you make purchases from now through August 3rd, $50 purchase or, or gets you two feet and over $100 gets you four feet of our new foil. You can, I will not tell you anything about it other than it's a new foil, it's fabulous, and if you want to be the first one to have it, when you place an order this weekend, we'll put a little Melody foil in your order as long as it's over $50 for two feet or over $100 for four feet. So come shop and you're going to get a little, little extra bonus in your order. We want everybody here to have a little sh chance to get the foil before anybody else does. Now, the only thing we ask is to help us keep it the secret through the third. So if you receive your package before the third, please don't post any pictures of the foil or anything you've done with the foil on social media or on your website. Uh, no Instagram, no Twitter, no Facebook, no Tumblr, no Snapchat, no, don't, don't use a picture of it as your photo on uh, Tinder or Grindr or Match.com or anything else. You got to keep it to yourself until the morning of the 4th. That way it will truly be special, but you're going to be getting some for free, whereas after the time we announce it publicly, anybody can buy it. So $50 purchase, two square feet of the new Melody foil for free. Over $100 purchase, four square feet of the new Melody foil, a gift from us to you. So really, I want to just give this to you, take a shot, buy a little something something this weekend that we're already planning to buy, and we're going to throw you in a little complimentary foil. This deal ends as soon as it's announced publicly. So if you love our foils and you trust my taste, because I'm going to tell you it's awesome. It's not like many most of the other foils that we have it's very different so absolutely come back talk to me S let me send you a little in your order all right everybody it is friday night my nephew is sitting across from me he is so done with me he wants to leave he'd fly home to new jersey tonight i think <laughs> he's sitting over there turning red <laughs> laughing at me because that's all he's done is laugh at me for the last few weeks all right have a great night. I will talk to you soon. Enjoy. Oh, I forgot to pull the foils. So you can see the rest of this. Don't. I was about to say goodbye. Sorry about it, everybody. Let me pull these. Flip it down. We'll pull these and then I'll say goodbye. All right. This is the one I screwed up. And you're going to see right away how I screwed up. That doesn't look like much of a seashell, does it? That's because there was a cut line all the way around here um to release the seashell and i forgot to pull the outside carrier so now i have all these really pretty little designs in the middle on a blob so maybe we'll call this our rock pillow because pretty much that's what it looks like it's a very glittery <laughs> rock. <laughs> and i have nobody to blame for it i it was my own fault as I'm standing here saying, everybody remember to remove your carry, your extra foil, your extra film from your carrier film. Make sure you weed everything out. No, I don't even take my own advice. I screw it up. 
So there's that one. Yeah. This is our other mask. Now this I know is gonna be cute. Let's get this off of here. Oh yes, yeah, just a little, just a little blossom in the corner there. That's very cute. That one did not release as well because I didn't release it so well, but look how cute that is. I mean, honestly, I put this on as a mask. Let's flip it up. I put that on. Now that is a cute mask. I love it. It's a sea slug now, that's right. <laughs> okay, so this mask is kind of big on me. So if you're making masks for people, you gotta consider the fact that this is big here. And really all I need to do is tighten up the cords, you know, so pull it back like that and it would stay better. Or take a little, little tuck in right here and it would fit my face better. Each of these masks are made, I and mean, I like it's a little big for me, but it would be great on a big guy. Or you just do a little tightening up of the straps and stuff. But this is the kind of stuff I always figure out. I'm not going to sit down and sew masks. I got I don't I don't have enough hours in the day to sew masks, so I look for pre-made masks. Um, if you make your own mask and you should fit, you know, do the size better, I will tell you again. Excuse me. Foil the fabric before you do the sewing because, ooh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. Because it will, it will be easier because you'll be able to lay it flat. But here's my other mask, okay? Yes, you can foil masks. This is a huge mask. I got a little, I personally would do, you know, doesn't have the bendy thing, so I need to put my glasses on it. But this works and I can breathe through it. And I don't know how well you could hear me through it, but I can breathe through it, no problem. And I think this is a great solution if you want to have some more fabulously foiled masks. All right, now I have shown you everything. <laughs> I can say goodbye and not feel like I left you hanging in the, you know, blowing in the breeze. I'm gonna figure out, or maybe I'll give the sea slugs pillow to my nephew. He'd appreciate the humor in it. All right, everybody, have a great Friday night. Put your orders in this weekend so that you can get your little, get a, get a free couple of feet of our brand new Melody Foil. Don't ask me any details about that Melody Foil other than I'm going to give it to you if you place an order. All right, everybody, have a good night. Bye-bye.